Now I want your calls on this. Do, do stunts by politicians win you over? The Lib Dem leader has made headlines again. So this time he's basically doing a series of water sports during the election. So he's hurtled down a giant slip and slide while on the campaign trail in Somerset. Ed Davey is known for his love of attention grabbing antics. Threw himself down the slide to promote his party's new policy on children's mental health. Just three days ago, he was filmed falling off a paddleboard in Lake Windermere, which he admitted he'd done deliberately because he fell off five times. So that's him pretending to fall off accidentally. And yeah. Now, I heard this morning from, from one of the younger producers, he's going down big on TikTok. People are really liking this. So not knocking Ed Davey, it may be working. He's accused Tory ministers of sitting on their hands and allowing firms to get away with pumping poo into the waterways. That's why he fell into Lake Windermere. <laughs> so stunts by politicians. Shall we see some? Shall we see some classics? Please. I'm going to start with one from America. And this is my, in a way, it's, it's when they go wrong that I think they're most striking. This is a guy called Gary Bauer who was trying to become Republican president and he's not that coordinated and he decides to toss a pancake. He jumps back out. He jumped, but good old Gary. So then the classic in Britain in recent years was Ed Miliband trying to eat the bacon sandwich. Aww. Christo, you know about this because your dad made it for him, correct? Is that your dad there? That is my dad. Oh, that's wild. That and was then my we had dad's these, cafe. <laughs> and he, poor guy sat down and was done these close-ups of him eating. <laughs> and he lost the election. He lost it. And you can argue, I know this is crazy, but as a result of that bacon sandwich, he lost the election and we then had Brexit. Yeah. And so, so your dad did that. My dad brought down our time in the European Union. I'm afraid dashed your chances of getting a Labour government under Ed Who Miliband. says I would be advocating for a Labour government? I'm just, you it's know, a, it's just, a, I'm guess. just having a guess. It's a guess. Ed um, Miliband had another one. This is another stunt. And this is, this did go badly. It, he decided to put his key pledges on a stone and they released it. It was called Edstone, a pun on headstone. Let's have a look at this if we can. And the pledges were all really dull in the sense that they were really vague. So an NHS with the time to care, that isn't really a pledge, is it? Controls and there were no numbers on it. In the end, they got so lampooned they had to take it to a secure facility and destroy it in private. I, I don't think it's destroyed. That's an exclusive. You're joking. An exclusive. Oh, this, someone bought it. I know, but I, rem I, for some reason, about two years ago, I went on a chase to see if I could find it because I thought, I thought I would be able to. And I think I located the warehouse, but none of the security would let me in. I should, I should get back there on were that. People I, but for I, photos I would say I'm 98% sure it's not destroyed and it is in a warehouse okay. in West London. Uh, Boris on the zip wire wasn't an election. Let's run it. This. It's difficult to know whether he sort of wanted this to happen. I used this zip wire two weeks after him. There was a clear sign saying, do not get on this zip wire if you weigh more than 15 stone. He clearly did. They said to him, are you sure about yourself on the zip wire, sir? He said, well, of course I don't weigh uh, 15 stone. So basically the whole thing collapsed in a way and he was left dangling. And it went, I suppose it was one of the things that added to the legend of that nothing that happens to him actually counts as a fault. I just can't believe he became our prime minister after that. I can't. And you know, but it I could see, you know, Neil Kinnock fell over. We got, we got Kinnock falling over. Let's see, because this was, here's a guy, Labour leader in the 80s, dancing with his wife on the beach. Tide comes in, falls over, and basically... Oh, God. He can't get elected after that. Well, what, where on earth is John Prescott drinking a pint in one? Where's that one? That's the best was that a one. Bad, what, was that a bad one? John, that was a good one. I don't remember that. Really good I would, one. I would say that was probably uh, usurped by John Prescott punching, punching someone. <laughs> someone. And We've what, got was, the, what was wrong with that? This is, this During Mrs. the election. <laughs> this is Thatcher in the tank, very famous 80s image. She got in a tank and put this kind of Lawrence of Arabia headscarf on and the goggles, the Biggles goggles. And then she... 
I think did they actually fire it with her in it? I mean, this was unreal. I think it was 87, this. And then Liz Truss thought, well, I'm a bit Thatcher, right? And did the same, there she is on the left. That's Liz Truss on the left. Um, and then I think my personal favorite, this is going back in the archives a little bit to 83. The Conservatives, the, my favorite radio presenter of all time is a guy called Kenny Everett. And the Conservatives invited him to their conference and he said this. Let's bomb Russia. <laughs> and then he said, let's kick Michael Foot's stick away. And they had to do a full apology, you know. <laughs> so are stunts bad or are they good? Um, I think for the Lib Dems, I think they're fantastic because they would not have got onto the anywhere in the papers without these stunts. Fair you enough. know, I actually did a count of how many times they'd called for an election over the past year. 55 times right. they called for an election. But then he went a little bit, he went one. missing in action a little bit, Ed Davey, at the start because of the post office scandal that he got well, caught up in. I was going to say, it's all like, you know, fun and games, Ed, isn't it? When you're on your little slide, not such fun and games, though, for the people who were caught up in the post office. Well, scandal, I don't think that he's all to blame that. for that. I think there are, there are two, uh, you know, there's a cabinet minister, well, shadow cabinet minister who's to blame for that and many cabinet ministers. A in the shadow Conservative cabinet Party. minister. Let's well, say. look, Pat McFadden is sitting on the shadow front bench and he was the post office minister when this was all going on. Mm. So I don't know why it's all ascribed to the Lib Dems when it's actually equal weight throughout the party. No, it's just it's just people, you know, the first whiff of gunshot, they run. That's the problem, isn't it? But anyway, whatever. He's in an election campaign. He's done lots of interviews. He's presumably been asked about it and that's all cleared the air. Rob is in Cumbria. Do we like election stunts, Rob, or are they childish? Um, good morning. Um, yeah, I, I think they're great. You know what I mean? They show, the, they show that they're human. You've got to have a giggle. No one wants a boring politician, you know what I mean? Stand there in a grey suit and just spout out the uh, manifestos and what... Yeah, you've got to have a giggle. Some politicians, I think, you know what I mean, you wouldn't want to go for a pint with them that put you to sleep. Uh, <laughs> boring, you know what I mean? You've got Keith Starmer, boring. Every time he comes on, I knock the TV off. Um, yeah. Ed, Ed Davies, a laugh, you know what I mean? He, looks, he doesn't take himself too serious. Um, the classic was Boris Johnson. He never took himself serious at all. No. Um, but, yeah, you've got to have a giggle. You've got to have a laugh. You've got to show you're human. You know what I mean? You didn't, didn't mention Rishi gas, Sunak there, know. Rob. Where is he on your giggleometer? Um, well, that's, that's the thing with um, Rishi. He still puts his cell out there. He still uh, makes his cell. But I think he's just naturally funny for being Rishi Sunak. He looks a bit um, funny. I don't think he has to force any gaffes. You know what I mean? What he said about one of the um, football um, the Euros in Wales, I think it yes. does, you know I mean? I no, he's done. For, well, it's just natural for Rishi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, there's a, there's a school of thought which says that the walking out in the rain got attention. Christo, what do you think? That that wasn't well, actually a bad of, mistake. It's also gaffes versus stunts as well, yeah. because sometimes a stunt becomes a gaff. Sometimes a gaff is there. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that the whole point, wasn't it, was that he looked like he was resilient and that was going to go out there, whatever the weather, and call this election. Um, I, I think it was probably more of a gaff that the, the D. Reen, things can only get better, was playing in the background. That was amazing. Actually, I think one, one um, thing we didn't include was, was John Major in 92 deciding to go around with a soapbox. And although it, people thought it was crazy, it really helped. It was like, I'm unspun, I'm a real person, and I've got this soapbox, and he would put it down and stand on it. And it, well, he won the election. What is a soapbox? A soapbox is, a, is a sort of, what, what are we, what, what's it made out of? That sort of well, it wooden, used to, it it's used a wooden box. It's a wooden crate that soap oh, would crates, come yeah. in. And uh, the, I think people used to stand on them in in, in, in A wooden crate. crate. Oh, OK, you didn't each individually have a, a box of soap. It's for sellers. It wasn't like some palm olive right. that was given to the politicians. We okay. are firmly Sorry. in the 21st century here where we're having to explain soapboxes. I mean, I, not that I... I mean, imagine, you know, when we used to do shopping and things and they had <laughs> shops and then they would deliver things to shops that were in... Was it lintel or those kind of... So, Cra yeah, wooden crates yeah, wooden for crates. protection, like classically grocers right. might have them, you know, with fruit in. And then you'd turn it upside down and he'd stand on it. Do you right. remember that? You, were, you weren't even born. No, 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 I'm with you now. You now I get it. Sorry, I'm I feel it. like I'm, I'm not mansplaining. I'm, I'm no, 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 boxplaining. I asked. I asked. You asked, but I went too far. No, not far enough. I'm still <laughs> confused, actually. <laughs> Victoria and Lincolnshire, what about this? We're explaining what a soapbox is. Um, uh, regarding the stunt things, I don't, I don't like them. You know, at the moment, we've got a lot of stuff going on in the UK. We've got the cost of living crisis. Energy bills are through the roof. Wages are not going up. 
You know, the NHS is in absolute shambles. You know, people are waiting God knows how long for cancer treatment, any form of treatment. Concentrate on the bigger picture, not silly little things, you know, like little stunts. I, I understand it's funny. Yeah, I get it. But we have got a crisis going on in the UK and nobody seems to be bothered. What about the NHS? What about wages? People are choosing between either heating their home or eating, and some of these people are working two jobs. Yeah, and then you've got a guy going down a water slide. On what is going yeah. on? I think this is fair. No, I don't you don't think it's it. fair, oh, I, I, Ava? I, I, Very no, I think that you know, I, I think the Lib Dems were not going to get on the front page of the newspapers unless they did something ridiculous. And I think, you know, for the past year, to be fair to the Lib Dems, as a loyal reader of all of their press uh, press releases, they have actually been really going after the cost of living crisis. They've really tried to tr uh, crack down on Tory corruption. They've really been there for the horizon scandal victims. But actually, none of those lines made the media because they weren't interesting enough. Mm. But what about that, Victoria, that he, he had to go down a water slide to make us go, oh, wow, what's he it doing on the be slide? Like that. It shouldn't be like it's, that. Well, you're this right. The yeah. problem with some press, they concentrate on silly little things. Concentrate more on, you know, when they're trying to bit, sort the NHS well, out. Very wise. Concentrate All right. on things like that. I noticed. I noticed that. Not. I'm not. You know, praising reform here, except to say they're proper suit and tie numbers over there, aren't they? You're, you're not going to see Richard Tice going down a water slide. Sort of Trumpifies our politics a bit uh, uh, as well. I think it's absolutely right. And like, now I'm going to look human because it's mm. an election. Thank you, Victoria. Thanks to all our calls. Wasn't that a great item?